of our closest divisions we have ever had in the entirety of the existence of the RBHL. All teams came within one point of each other. The Whalers came out with the number one seed just by one point. Evil Empire tied with both the Big Hawks and the Lock Monsters with 12 points. They ended up at the number three spot, that, but that seems to be the lucky number across the league as all the number threes are making it far into the playoffs. But there will be a new champion in the A division this year since the defending champion Big Hawks are out of the running. But you, this is really a toss-up. You can make an argument for either one of these teams and you would be absolutely right. So there is no telling what this match will bring. Let's go to the breakdown and we'll start with the Evil Empire. This one is going to be uh, about... Really, who can step up on their offense? And I think Barrett Modi has the skill to bring here in this matchup. Modi has been one of the, the biggest rising stars of the A division. And, of course, we cannot forget about Ryan Reich, who's known for going for the wraparounds. And we expect to see Mark Komoshi in the net. But there is going to be... Uh, quite some feistiness on their side as they have no quit in them. But of course, watch for the defense, especially Gino Giangreco. For the Whalers, it's going to be down to Jim Trevis. He has been an outstanding performer throughout these playoffs. Despite a constant assault against him, he just makes the clutch saves whenever it is required. And of course, he's going to need some help from his front line. And I got my eyes on both Nick Cassetta and Will Hunter. It's going to be a close matchup between these two teams. I really have no idea who's going to be winning this one. But the only way to find out is to play. And the ball drop is next. Officials to this game, Mitch Stevens at center. Brian Hooks and Chris Valley on the boards. A division matchup. There will be a new champion this year. Seeds number one and three, and this is really a toss-up as to who is going to win this one as we get underway in this final matchup, as Faramodi's not wasting any time as he goes into the corner. Jacob Ennis covered, but he will get away. Expect a fast-paced game as Nick is set up, puts one on the net, and Kamoshi covers. One by the Whalers trying to drive the net, but nothing available to take a shot. Blown by the Whalers. Darst tries a wrist shot, gets blocked. Right corner. Nick Cassetta trying to fight off someone. There will be a penalty coming up, and it looks like it's going to go against the Evil Empire. Tries to center, tries to shoot it, 
but Ryan Reich will touch up and a penalty will be assessed for hooking. That's a good shift, guys. That's a perfect shift. Good job. You want to get it done? That's a great shift. Good job drawing that. Great shift, guys. Great and shift. Jake Thistle is going to get called for this. So 40 seconds in, the Whalers get our first power play. And Thistle is making the argument that his stick was held. One by Evil Empire, good start to the kill. Attempt to clear, gets blocked. And Reich will finish it off as it goes right into the pads of Trebus, will drop it off. Will Hunter. We'll take a look at Al it left. And Tom runs to a double team, but gets away into the left corner. Getting well covered you, as it plays around and back to Pelka. Pelka wrist shot, it gets tipped, but it does not get through to Komoshi. Pelka sends it back in, and Reich will throw it out. Again, still got time. One more chance as that one got away from Trebus for a moment, but no danger in front of him. Go, Jack, go, Jack, go, Jack. Edgecomb, left corner, five seconds left on the penalty. Looks for an opening, gets to Pelka. Turn around, penalty over. Even! He'll send it across, tries one yeah. time, score, no! Official, Chris Valley said no, it hit the post and did not go in. I heard metal and I thought for a moment that it did win in, but Chris Valley, our official at the goal line says no, it did not go in. What? It's won by Evil Empire. Back to Willie's a shot and save by Kaloshi. They go into the corner. Right, trying to fight him off. Reared in a shot and save by Kaloshi. Yeah, I got mine. I got mine. One by Evil Empire, Jan Greco, over to Reich. And they're going to try to get their first attempt at the net, but it's forced to play it off the end boards. Ennis takes it behind his net. Tannis avoiding Dan Greco. Shot and a save by Kamoshi. He goes down. They're looking for a call, and there will be one. I believe they're calling it against, Kam against Kamoshi, and if that's the case, then they got to send someone to serve it for him. The call is tripping. They're going to send Thistle back to the box. That was not going to count against him since it went since it was Kamoshi's penalty. Well, at this rate, Thistle is going to have to get comfortable in in that box. Here's Darcy. That's blocked. Will be cleared. Ten seconds gone on the penalty. Right, Off the right, Darst going across. Do a little, unable to handle it, but recovered. Back along the point, back to Pelka, crosses to Darst. Winds up with a shot, saved by Kamoshi. As Reich tries to get away, halfway through the penalty, and he will clear. And Trevis will just leave it for Pelka. 6.45 in the game clock, Friday, Friday. 17 on the penalty clock. And on, miscommunication, but they do enter the zone. Yeah. Nick Cassetta, right corner. We'll play it back and misses Doris, and that's gonna kill off the remainder of the penalty. So miscommunication at the end of that power play. 
back to full strength as the back check gets together. Hunter being chased by Modi, who won the Bloodwood Bowl for our most points in the season. It's cold. Let's play it off the boards. Uh, overstretched it, Gian Greco. Sends it up, goes off of Murphy. Right corner, Ennis plays off to Edgecombe. He'll get a return. Edgecombe off the boards, blocked by Gian Greco. Catherine Murphy will just throw it to the left corner. Race between Hunter and Ethan Gian Greco, and the Whalers do retrieve behind their nets. Empire has yet to get a shot on Trevis. It's Reardon. Goes left to Edgecombe. We'll take it behind the net. Looking for a wraparound. Stop by Kamoshi. Hey guys. Now I do notice that the Empire only have two subs available on the bench, which could be could be bad news for them. The centers up, Bearden tries to go across block by right. Crystal, oh, stretch it up, looking, and he just gets to Ethan Tanzaco, beats out the ice, tries to center up. What's her? Where is it? Yankee Tittle Dandy. Jim Trebus with a great reaction time to make the stop and keeps this scoreless. And there's a shot gets blocked into the safety screen. Behind the net. Hey, Cassetta. The old game. Then we'll try wrist shot. Blocker saved by Kamoshi. Back to Mike Cassetta. Tries to center, gets blocked. Catherine Murphy. Two on two. But has Cassetta on pursuit. She runs to a double team along the right boards. Nick Cassetta. Three on three. Mike Cassetta with a shot and that goes wide. And Doolittle centers up. Blocked. Catherine Murphy. Lost it out. Picked up by Darce. Darce taking a couple of looks. Broken four minutes remaining. Takes a sweep check, gets away. Hey, hey. Off the left boards, Gian Greco. Take it away. Back goes to Pelka. Right boards to Nick Cassetta. Go gain the zone. Was trying to go across, no one available. Barry Modi. On the right board, covered by Hunter. Centers up, tried to go for Thistle, blocked by Nick Cassetta. Tries to make it a two on one. If he can get the speed opening, oh, he misses wide. Sure up. wrap around, not available. If sure enough, goes wide of the net. Too little. Pops up in the air, lost sight of it for a moment, does find it, but we'll leave it for Nick Cassetta. Try to center up, it's blocked by Wright. Try to throw it toward the net, nothing available. Gian Greco, cross it, Thistle. I got Darren, I got Darren. Take his time and now try to go for Murphy, no ice. It was in front of the blue line. Edgecombe will set it up for Ennis, who will just throw it to the right corner. Less than three remaining in the period. Attempt to pass gets blocked by Thistle. Ethan Gian Greco now to Murphy. Murphy goes back to Reich. Looking for a tip. It was, they're going to call offside. This is a late call for offside. The play continues because he never touched it. Goes down on Ethan Gian Greco now to Gino Gian Greco. Jack Edgecombe trying to gain the zone, turns it over. Darst behind his own net. Play all the boards, finds Edgecombe. Just throws it around the left boards. Kamoshi comes out, but we'll just leave it for Gino Gian Greco. Centers to Ryan Reich. Gotta get back, Gotta get back, Jack. Along the right, Morris tries a shot wide of the net. 
Take your time. Take your time. Stars. Okay, Off to hey, Ryan Coyne. Right. We'll try to throw one to himself by Kamoshi. What a big clear. Whalers tag up. Back to Coyne. Coyne trying to drive the slot. Drops to Reardon. Tries to set her up. Blocked by Jan Greco. Forced to the outside. Jan Greco takes it away. Now speeds up for us to David St. Louis. Now centers for Murphy. Murphy tries to chip it herself, but a little too far as he'll be covered by Jim Trevis. It'll come out to the open floor. Who's going to get this one? Still no clear winner. Does go to Murphy, and she'll take the shot. Gets away from Trebus for a moment. As we approach the minute mark of the first period. Ennis goes through neutral, goes right. Hunter, she'll wind up for a shot that gets blocked. Tries again, and that is also blocked. This time by the slot by Ethan Dean Greco. You got pods, you got pods. Do little. Here's a call and opts to go forward to Hunter. Tries to get around Thistle, takes a stick. They battle. And comes up to Modi on the left boards for the Empire. Gives it away. Pelka goes left. Sure enough. It goes in over toward Hunter who battles off Modi. Come on, Jack. Finish this out. Gino. Goes up to right. The four check and back check. Really coming into play now for both sides. Hold it. Comes back. Hold it. Get on, do little. Ten seconds. There's Hunter with a shot. Blocker save. Oh! Well, that would not have counted anyway because it hit the ceiling. So we'll have a face off with six seconds. Hey, let's get Matt on for the face off. Matt, 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 go, Come on, do little. And it's won by the Empire, and that will be cleared. Will it make the distance before the clock? No, the clock will expire before they get a chance to do another face-off. So, good chances by the Whalers, but we enter the first intermission. No score after one. Way more shots. Way more shots. Ready for the second period. We've had some close calls, but so far, no score. As that will be chipped in toward Trevis, it will be steered away. As Ethan Giangreco sends one across, and Modi will retrieve. A lot of the action has been on this particular end. As Thistle tries to push it back in, but it will be cleared out. Giangreco. Play left at Thistle. Yes. 30 seconds gone in the second period. Ethan Jangreco sends it back to Gino. Waits on it and now centers to right. Goes right to Ethan. Will throw one on net and stop by Trevis. Helka will play on the boards. Go, Nick. Go, Nick. Cassetta goes left. We'll find Chernoff. Just backhanded into the left corner. Right will take it behind the net. watch out on Ethan. Looking for an option. Goes off the stick of Nick Cassetta, which will wave off the ice. Kevin Darst throws it around to Ryan Reich, but he runs into traffic and will come out of the zone. Empire forced to tag up. Dino will send it down. No ice. Doolittle and Reich, they come together. Reich will take it away. The shot that's blocked. Second chance by the net. Another chance. Open chance. Oh, that goes off a leg. Went off of Pelka and goes into the right corner. And open chance. That one goes wide the net on the backhand. Right, right in his signature area. Stopped. Stopped by Trevis. And the Whalers dodge a couple of bullets. And they are offside. 
Momentum has shifted hard to the left. Ethan is pinchy. He's just hanging out by the blue line, so he's fast. So. Blown by the Whalers, will push it to the right corner. Gino Greco and Ryan Coyne join together. Gino will get it. Play it around. Ennis plays back. We'll find Edgecomb. Plays back to Doolittle. He'll try a shot that's blocked by Wright. Catherine Murphy will just lay it across, but it gives it away to Ennis. Off the leg of Edgecomb at center. Throws it right back. Was it in front of the line? No, it'll come back for icing against the Empire. Yeah, it's won by the Empire. Trying to get it away from the slot area. But it'll be back to Nicosetta. And pressure by Catherine Murphy. Tries to set up off the foot. Goes into the corner to Reardon. Back to the point. And Williams with a shot and tipped on net. And Kamoshi with the cover. A couple of words exchanged, but we will play on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I didn't need it. I just don't want it. Yeah. I was just trying to say. Won by the Empire, but goes right to open floor, and Modi trying to fight off Hunter, but drop it back to right. Plays it across. Ethan Jean Greco. And trying to push it back, but Reardon will take it. Mike Cassetta. Goes right back at the blue line, kicks it right back over to Nick Cassetta in front of the Whalers bench. Nick Cassetta centers up to Reardon. Shot is blocked. Second chance, that's also blocked. Back to the right corner. As Ethan goes off a stick and that will wave off the ice. Back it goes to Darst on his own circle. Now plays left. Bill Hunter. Hunter winds up, tries a shot that gets blocked. Too little, plays it back down to the left boards. Nicosetta gets it away. Do little in the corner. Tries to up, and it gets blocked by right, but it goes back to Cassetta. Shot it, it's blocked. Tried again, and that one went off of a stick, and out it goes. Approaching six minutes left in the second period. Still no score. Takes a look and now I'll play off the left boards and we'll get some help in the form of Darren Chernoff. And attempt to clear off the ceiling. Gets kicked away by David St. Louis and now plays down into the right corner. Steers behind the net. Jacob Ennis will take it. Now sends it up. We'll find Chernoff. Left corner. But it'll be sent right out by Ennis and he'll be coming back to neutral. Let's go guys, we got this, let's go! And they're actually gonna send it all the way down. Won by the Whalers, but taken away by Reich. There will be, there may be a call coming here. No, no, I, that was just for delayed icing. I was looking to see if they're gonna call an interference, but they said no, that did not happen. Reardon. They tried the shot in a glove save by Kamoshi. Thank you. 
Coming from Ryan Coyne, and that gets sent out of play with 4.58 remaining. On by the Whalers, back to Williams. They lost control, out it goes as Modi tries to take advantage of it, but it'll be sent to Darce on the left. He'll drop it for Edgecombe. Everybody comes together. And he's looking for a call. It looks like there will be a penalty coming. And they collide on the board. Delayed call against the Whalers. Right behind the net is pushed off the ball and the penalty to the Whalers. The call is interference. Myself. Okay, it's going to be Dars to the box. So the umpires had a couple of quality chances earlier this period. Question is, can they keep that momentum their way as it drops back to Gino Greco? Crosses the thistle. Back to Gino at the point. Looking for a lane as he'll go down the boards to right. Now crosses to Modi. Left circle, centers up. Oh, Yankee Doodle Dandy, second chance. Stop by Trevis. Second time that Trevis has had to pull a big stop. That one point blank. Yeah, Jim. Let's go, boys. Goes back to Gino Greco. Goes off the boards. Right. Back to Gino. Goes across. Finds Thistle. Goes across to right. Back it goes to Gino. Less than four remaining. To right. Shot and a save. Rebound attempt. Stop by Trevis. And out it goes. Back to Gino. Shot and a save by Trevis. With 12 seconds left on the penalty. Hey, where am I going? You still want me? Yeah, yeah, I'll talk to you guys. Come to the bench. Yeah. I'm going straight out, right? Hey, no, you go over here. The bench? Yeah. Yeah. Tie out goes to the Empire, Gino. Goes to Thistle at the point. Hangs on, now goes back to Gino. Three seconds left. Shut! And it goes wide. And penalty is over. Left board shot and another save by Trevis. And Ennis comes back on the counter attack. Nicosetta trying to move in, slaughtered away by Kamoshi. Nicosetta cycles with Mike. And now back to Reardon. Nicosetta trying to handle. Whalers trying to change on the fly. He'll cross. Hunter tries a low roller stopped by Kamoshi. They'll hang on with 301 left. Give me a win. Hey guys, that was almost a goal. We gotta get more of those. We gotta get more of those. Come on. We almost scored there. Good play, Jacob. And it'll be won by the Empire. Going back out. Hunter will throw it back into the end boards. Cassetta trying to throw up, not available. Sliding in his rear end. Cassetta throws it around, looking for Chernoff. We'll leave it for Hunter. Hunter pressured by Murphy. Goes down all along the boards. Now it goes down to Cassetta below the goal line. And Reardon trying to look for a tip. And it's covered by Kamoshi with 2.31 left. Good time for a change! Nope. Nope. One by the Whalers. Back to Hunter. There's a shot that gets blocked. Ethan trying to clear. 
Hester kept in, sure enough. Get back, get back. We'll go up to Cassetta, crosses to Williams in the right corner. Thinks about it, now goes to Chernoff. Hop off his stick and right. Clear the zone as we approach two minutes remaining in the second period. Still no score. Around the board. We'll take a look and we'll send it back across. Not quite the angle he wanted, but he will connect to Doolittle. Edgecomb tries a shot, gets blocked. Tries to set her up, nothing available. Ryan Coyne on the left corner. Centers, tried to go for Doolittle, can't handle it. He'll retreat. Shot gets blocked. Picked up by Murphy, still clear. And did not touch, it will be an icing with a minute 27 left. Okay, okay. Hard on the ground. We gotta keep getting those point shots through. Yeah. And the bodies. They didn't want to work. Whatever happened. Yeah, we worked. Somebody was trying. Barely got hit. It's won by Whalers at least for a moment. Picked up at the center line. Dumps in. Picked up by David St. Louis. Crosses. Picked up by Modi. Modi will just throw one on net. Trebus will steer it away and place off the scorekeeper's table. Good. Almost connected to Coin. That would have been a perfect pass. As it goes down to the right. Picked up by Murphy. She'll throw across. Try to go for Modi with less than a minute remaining. They battle in the left corner. Picked up by Ryan Reich. Reich. Hits the brakes. Right, a shot goes into the corner. Picked up by Murphy. She'll try a shot. That goes to the opposite corner. Stretch pass picked up by Ryan Coyne. Two on two for the Whalers. Looking. And we'll toss one. And we'll be stopped by Kamoshi. You got it. Okay, good. I didn't want to interrupt you. All right. Stopped by Jake Thistle. Picked up on, on the tie up, it'll be Williams. Wrist shot goes into the corner. Both teams still looking for that elusive goal. Crosses blocked by St. Louis. Looking for a three on two. Won't be available. Pelka turns to a two on one. He'll try to shot. He scores! Here yeah, Cassetta does it again! And the Whalers finally break the zero. With only six seconds left in the period, Nick Cassetta. Once again, pulling off the sniper, and that will be the period. But it is still anybody's game. We enter the second intermission, one nothing after one. After two periods of play, the Whalers score a last second goal from Nick Cassetta to make it 1 0. 10 minutes away, and we are underway again in the third period. Thistle with control. Stretch it to Modi. Looking to use that speed that goes into the corner. He is the Bloodwood Bowl winner of the A Division. Is it sent up, tipped, and out it goes. Gian Greco. Will go up, and uh, that was touched behind the line. They do tag up in time. Here's Doolittle. 30 seconds gone in the third period. Gonna look for the opening, but Cody. He gets sent into the bench, and the face off will take place at neutral. All right, let's go. Yeah, I got you. Here we go. 
Line by the Empire. Gino goes up to Murphy. Tries to get away, intended for Reich, but runs into Pelka. Nick Isetta, now find his way around. And that, they're looking for a delayed hand pass. Oh, but they blew the whistle. I thought for a moment that Reardon had gotten the ball back, but they do roll a hand pass. So uh, they're going to bring it back to center. Back to Williams, who will dump it down. Over a minute gone in this third period. Picked up by Gino Greco. Ethan will send it across to Murphy. Through center, nothing available. Elka will put it down. Off the stick of Reardon. But Gino will get there first and over to Thistle. Back to Gino again. Take it behind his net. Now being pressured by Reardon. We'll go let the Ethan being right now off the left boards. Tries to pass across. Was looking for a right right, but overshot it. And Williams sends it up. Trying to look for Darren Chernoff. Poked back by Ryan Wright. Nick Asetta. Throw wide, just a little bit wide of Kamoshi. Left corner. Murphy trying to push out, but Pelka sends it around the boards. Now we change, we change. Thistle sends it up to Ethan. Sent right back. And now the entry game has been a little bit troublesome for the Empire. As that sends down, and it gets even worse for them as, as an icing. Oh, no, that's all. One by the Empire. Gino sends it across. Hits Doolittle. Sends it across. One tire stopped by Kamoshi. And that sent out of play into the Empire bench. And we'll have a face off to the right of Kamoshi. Come on. Hey, we need one, two more. Yeah, we need a lot more. Let's go. There's one by the Whalers, but sent right back into the corner. Edgecomb looking for an opening, now drops it back. Coin trying to center up to the hey, top of the circle. Jacob Coyne, you're back. And it's play. Looking for a wide angle shot, nothing available for him. Edgecomb behind the net. Now to the left corner. And trying to center up, was intending for Ryan Coyne, but intercepted by Gino. Ryan Wright still unable to get through on that four check. Ryan Coyne again. Pressured to the top of the circle. Shot and a save by Kamoshi. Left corner for Gino. I'm going for Ryan Coyne. Sand in. Blocked. Trying to break through, but Hunter blocks it. Hunter with a shot. Save by Kamoshi with 640 left. And it's won by the Empire, Modi with control. We'll see if that transition works out. Hits the brakes, trying to shake off Darst. Now tries a shot save by Trevis, second chance. Around the back of the net. Ethan, goes back to Thistle. That goes back to Modi at the top of the circle. Good ball check from Darst. Turns to a three on two. Goes across, but they're offside. They're forced to tag back up. Thistle with control for the Empire. Over to Modi, a center. Three on three, tries a shot save by Trebus with 5.59 remaining. 
Right, Nick? Good. One by the umpire, went right back to Gino, oh, yeah. and break away, Nick Asetta! All on, shot, Yankee Doodle Dandy by Kamoshi! Goes back over to Reardon, shot by the net, and Kamoshi comes up with a big save himself! Sorry guys, just keep going. Now we're getting to the end. Hey Matt. Get up, boys. Get up next time. You get more of those. Get up, boys. That's good. Oh, man. That's all right. We'll get there. Always go to the other side again. And swan by the Whalers. Back to Dart. Turnaround shot off the end boards and a cover up by Kamoshi. Point. One by the Whalers, towards center, slap back in by Darst, but this all will get it out in an icing against the Empire with 525 left. Let's go guys, come on. All right, first time, five minutes, all out, all, all out, out. Get, some goals. get some goals. Five, High up. It'll go to the umpire. Thistle try to get it out. Do little intercepts. Back to Ennis. Back to Edgecombe along the right boards. Thinks about it. Now centers try to go for Doolittle. A little too hot off his stick. Modi goes left to Murphy. Murphy in the left corner covered by Ennis. Goes behind the net. Try to look for that opening. Nothing available, it's just too crowded. Three on two for the Whalers. Edgecombe, Ennis, and Coyne. Edgecombe across the coin. one timer goes high. Edgecombe again, on the boards. Attempted pass is blocked by Gino. They will clear, will this be a nice? Yes it will, as it'll come back. 434 left. And one by Hunter tries to throw one across into the corner by Cassetta. Centers up, intercepted by Wright. Okay, cleared out. No icing this time. Ennis will take his time looking. Uh, now we'll take it himself through center. Now just backhanded it. Intercepted by Gian Greco. Chipped down and Rebus trying to steer it away to the corner. Mike is set over to Nick is set. Hunter. We'll play off the board. And go. it's around Thistle. Now race for control. Thistle will get there easily. Thistle will just play it around to Gino. Empire's now watching the clock. 3.41 left in regulation. They'll center cross finds Ethan. Centers intercepted by Nick Asetta. Back and forth as Empire tag up Murphy with control. Now we'll send one just wide of Trevis. Williams over to Reardon. He goes left to Chernoff. Try to center up, intercepted by Gian Greco again. Right. Tries to throw one just a little bit wide of Trevis and he will not take any chances here. He'll cover with 3.08 left. Let's go boys. Let's go. Got this. You can roll it, all right? Good shit. 
Five left. One by the Whalers. Doris off the boards. Kept in by Thistle. Right. Moving in hard. The girls, do they fall outside? They say no, but it doesn't matter. Here they come. Edgecomb, drop pass to Doolittle. He'll get a return. Right corner. Move. Drop off, boy. Move. Goes across and could not connect to Ryan Coyne. Modi throws on the Jets. Now hits the brakes on Pelka. Now he'll try to feed across, looking for a tip. Can't get it. Shot save by Trevis. Second chance, that's clear. Modi waits for his team to tag. And now we'll enter. Left four. Pressure by Doolittle. Somebody cry to score! from here as Ennis plays off the board. Nick Cassetta tries to throw a shot, gets blocked. Cassetta goes right. Ennis looking to drive, holds up on the shot, thinking about a wraparound, but is blocked by Gino. Mike Cassetta with a shot goes wide. Two minutes left in regulation. Off the boards. Ennis tries to play back, gives it away to Thistle. Plays top off the boards. Mark Williams. He'll just try to set one up. Has no icing because he was in front of the line. Williams tries to set it up and tipped on. Where is it? Cleared away by Reich. That got Kamoshi's pad and was unaware of it until it was right in front of him. Thistle with a minute 20 left. Now pressure by Chernoff. Goes across to Gino. He'll wind up for a shot, gets blocked. One minute, Back boys, goes to one Nick minute, set a high circle, shot high in the net. Turn off, second chance save. Rebound attempt, looking for it, and he has it. A minute three left in regulation. Good job, good job, way to set it up, way to set it up. Way to set it up, guys, finish, here we go. One minute. And a timeout's going to be called by the Empire. That's what I said. <laughs> As I said at the pre show, this game was going to be a toss up. Most of this game has been going to the Whalers, but a stroke of luck on the Empire side gets them back in the game. A minute three until we head to overtime, and I know that both these teams don't want to go into that territory. So a recap of the scoring for the Whalers, it is Nick Cassetta and for the Empire Barrett Modi, who came out of the regular season with the Bloodwood Bowl having the most points, and it was a close battle for that trophy. Uh, 
looking for a point. It's won by the Empire. Drop off, Will. Gino tries to stretch it up off of Pilka. Almost had a chance. And they're going to call a hand pass against the Whalers. And that's the neutral zone. Stays here. Stays here with the zone. One by the Whalers. Helga off the boards looking for Doolittle. Gives it away to Thistle. Modi just held the zone and that shot goes a little wide. Hunter. They bump bodies out of the zone. Gino crosses to Thistle. 36 seconds left in regulation. Back to Gino. Says it up and just misses Murphy. And this will come down for icing. 28 seconds left. Very nice screen, let's go, you got this. One by the way, shy wide of the net, and come though, she covers. All right, here we go, here we go. Just missed it by inches. One more. It's won by the Empire. Attempt to clear. Kept in by Darst. Finds an opening to Ryan Coyne. 15 seconds left. Centering pass off a stick. Poked away. Back to Thistle. He'll clear it out. Eight seconds left. Will they have enough time? To Darst. He's going to try a shot. Stop by Kamoshi. And we are going to overtime. I really have no idea where this is going to go from here. So it'll be a 10 minutes of overtime. First team to score wins. Let's go, guys. Hey, two, one. Get ready. But if I had to pick a team that has advantage right now, I would have to go with the Whalers because they've had more possession time. They've had pressure in that neutral zone. But we will see. Like I said, this has been a toss-up like it is here. Modi over to Ethan. Crosses. Can't find Reich. Reich. Right in his wheelhouse and it's stopped by Kamon. By Reich. Jim Trebus says Ryan Reich in his signature area looking for that wraparound. He's got Kino, he's got Kino. And it's out of the zone, not the way that the Empire wanted to win that draw. Modi playing defense for the time being, but it'll be sent down for icing. Come on, Ryan. Coming to you. Coming to you, Ryan. Come on, boy. Load it up. It's right here. One by the Empire. Gives it away. Shot goes wide from Coin. Take a setup. From the top of the circle, looking for a sniper shot in that stop by Kamoshi. He'll hang on with 9.13 in overtime. Right, 
alright. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Good pressure. Good pressure. Good pressure, man. Good win. Picked up in the corner by Gino Dan Greco gives it away. Too little. Goes to the right corner. Off a of foot behind the net. Gino pressure by Edgecombe. Gives it away to Ryan Coyne. From the top of the circle. Back to Williams. Wrist shot off a of body. He was trying to look for the screen. Edgecombe in the left corner. Pressure by David St. Louis. Does get away. And again, St. Louis just continues to put pressure on and pops out to Williams. Trying to get away from Murphy. And now comes out as Ethan Giangreco trying to get to the ball. But is steered away. Here's Coin again. Two on two. Centers. Edgecombe. Can't handle it as he was interrupted by Thistle. Lost up and gloved down. Plays forward. Taken away by Nick Cassetta. Cassetta goes left. Oh, good stick by Gino. Murphy gets it out. Hunter off the boards and will find Nick Cassetta. Down it goes and to the left corner. Pops out. Mike Cassetta with a shot, gets blocked. Tries to get a second attempt. He'll try it, and that one steered a little wide. Nick Cassetta from the right boards. Tries a shot on that, and Kamoshi with a stop with 7.26 left. Toss up, who's got this one? Along the board, still no clear winner. Mike Cassetta for the Whalers. And then pops out, back to Ennis. Wrist shot gets blocked. Murphy. Looks like a two on two, tries to get around Hunter. Hunter plays off the safety screen, stays in play. Reardon plays off his own boards. And Jacob Ennis. Good. Tries to pass to himself a little too far. This will take it for the Empire. Back it goes. Gian Greco. Gino goes to Ethan. Ethan for the top of the circle. Shot goes wide the net. And he dives out to cover with 6.38 remaining. We got this. Let's keep going. And one by the Empire. Dino gets a return. Tries to get away. It's a right shot. Why the net? Goes deep to Nick Cassetta. If he has the speed, tries a net. And he
Carolina Cup coming in. And now they will go for the photo. There was not an easy decision, but Jim Trevis will get MVP. He'll receive the Oak Bowl. We'll be back with a wrap this up. Here with Nick Cassetta and Jim Trevis, and um, I had to put it to a vote because I really did not know who to give it to. You both were fantastic in that game. Uh, we'll start with Nick, uh, who is the game winner. So I mentioned many times about your handling and how do you do it? <laughs> well, I got a garage at home that I practice in, so that helps a little bit, but uh, it's just, just working hard. And my teammates create space for me, so I got, got a lot of freedom out there. So, so did you obviously had quite a bit of issues trying to get to Mark and Moshi, but, um, and like I said, this was the closest a division has ever played. So what do you think was the X factor in, in you making it all the way? Well, I, we had all of our guys show up for the playoffs at the right time. That really, really helped us in the end. Um, we had the legs to, to go to overtime and win it. Yeah, it was just that hot at the right time. Absolutely. Playing well. And Absolutely. Yeah, we went to together. It helped us a bit. And uh, speaking of Jim, uh, you seem like you, you stay in form. Like, how long you've been in this league now, and you're still at your top form. So, 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 so like, what's your into making all of those those fantastic reactions, the, the flexibility? Well, so the reactions, you know, mostly I've been trying to focus on my form and, and the angles, and the reactions, just reactions. I just, I mean, that's not a lot. I just kind of react to the play. But mostly, it's just playing the angles, trying to stay in form. With, with that, that it was just a fantastic game, and everyone's going to be gunning for you. I, I, I can tell that. Oh yeah. I can tell that uh, next season's going to be quite a, um, may I say, it, a bloodbath. So, congratulations to the Whalers. They are the new A division champions. But be sure to check out the other two divisions. But we will have the spring season in January. Keep an eye out for that. But until then, from Excel Sports World, this is Daniel Wilson. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Daniel. Thanks, Daniel.